Hello, hello, you are welcome to Ogoni Channel One again. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to show you something interesting. This is going to help you to get your two portable appliances working if the main supply is out. All right, and to do that, you need a 12 volt battery and then a power inverter to do that. Okay, how do we do it? Very simple. Just continue to watch me as I teach you how to do this simple connection to get your two 40 volt appliances still working if the main supply is out. Okay, so we need a 12 volt battery. This is a 12 volt battery. And then we also need connecting leads. Um, connecting leads that will help us to connect between the battery and then the inverter. All right, so these are the inverter terminals. We have negative and then we have positive. Positive is red, negative is black. All right, and so we are connecting these two leads between the battery and then the inverter. Then we get our output to be 240 volts. But mind you, um, the inverters are inside it. So depending on the number of appliances you want to supply power to and then the wattage rates then you have to carefully select your inverter and the bigger the inverter you also have to mind the size of your battery so i would suggest that you shouldn't connect anything that is more than thousand watts to this inverter there are bigger ones that you can still fall on if you need um, a bigger one and i also said that the bigger the inverter the more your batteries. Okay. I would want to check to ascertain the amount of voltage that the battery is supplying. All right. And so this is my multimeter. I will set it to DC volt. And then red will go to positive. And then black goes to negative. All right, so I have 12.4 volts DC that is supplied from the battery. And so this 12 volt DC is going to be converted by the inverter into 240 volts. So I can use my fan, I can use my drilling machine, and I can also switch on my light. All right. So the next thing is that I'm going to connect the cables Red will go to the red terminal here. Red goes to red. Okay, we tighten it well. Then black goes to black. Good. Then now we clip red to the positive and then black to the negative. Okay, all right, so we have our inverter. And so this is where we are going to connect the 240 volt output. And then this here will tell you how fast your battery is draining. So let's go, we switch it on. And then now we have 12.3 from our battery. And then here, I'm going to test again. So, we are sure of the output voltage. And so here I set the multimeter to 750 volts and I test between the two terminals. Okay, so there you have 220 volts. All right, so that's 220 volts. 220 volts means that it will be able to supply my fan. This fan, as I said earlier, we are not going to uh, connect anything that is more than 1000 watts to this inverter and so when you are connecting your appliances when you are connecting your electrical appliances you have to do it carefully so that you do not damage your inverter okay so i'm going to connect this fan this fan is uh, rated 220 volts 50 hertz and then 60 watts. Okay, so this is rated 60 watts. Because I'm going to connect two things at a time, I will need an extension board to take the supply from the inverter so I can connect my items. Now, I plug my standing fan. I also have a light. I plug my 
enjoy the light also. Alright, so in this case, I have my fan and my light connected to the supply from the inverter. So I on my fan, then you go, the fan starts working. And then my light has a switch here, so you switch it on and off. On. Okay, so you realize that this is a uh, this is a DC supply, and by the help of the inventor, I'm able to supply my 240 volt appliances from the DC voltage. Okay, now I also have a drilling machine here that I want to plug to this. This is rated 220 volts <coughs> and then 600 watts. So this is 600 watts. All right. So I'm going to connect the drilling machine and together with the other things. Okay, but I have to remove one. Alright, so my standing fan is working. And then I have plugged my drilling machine. And this, this needs 220 volts to work. And so from the output of the inventor, I get my drilling machine working. Okay, so that is it. And uh, before I go off, I need to quickly say that this battery needs to be charged. If you are going to use it for a long time, then it means you need a charger that will be connected to charge the DC battery. So that any time the main supply is available, your battery will be charged. And then when the main supply is off, you can get the same battery to supply 12 volts to your better to give you an output of 240. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have not subscribed yet, I will encourage you to do that as I come your way with a lot of educative videos that will help you to do your own electrical wiring and to give you more knowledge in dealing with your electrical systems. See you another time in my